I've been really into entrepreneurship and just the idea of, of starting things, of starting something that was bigger than, than me. It wasn't part of my major, but that was building things with my hands and building you know, a new physical, tangible thing. That was in, immensely satisfying. It's not something that you know, I, I wanted to do so much as something that I, I couldn't not do. Before the Startup Challenge, like a lot of my friends, I was thinking mainly along the lines of consulting and banking. Kind of realized I really, really didn't want to do that. And at the time, you spend a lot of time at 1 a.m. in the Wonder Hayden Pavilion, and you start to, to know all the people who are late at the library. Um, and those become your friends for, for a long time. That's where I met Razana, actually. One of the best outcomes of the Stars Up Challenge is that that's how I met my co-founder today. We started with the projects that we entered into, and now we're building robots together. Entrepreneurship was not at all on my radar. I was going a completely different path in school, and I, I didn't really have any idea of what it meant to be a founder and to start a company. But that was the first time that I knew that you could really start a company to enact the change that you wanted to bring about in the world. It was something that wasn't on my radar and it completely changed the course of my, of my professional career and my life. I'm Rosanna, this is Dan, and we started Carbon Robotics to enable these new types of applications and ultimately to make robotic arms as ubiquitous as computers. Today, when you think about robotic arms, you probably picture a factory, probably assembling cars. At Carbon Robotics, we built Cadia. It is a low-cost robotic arm that has capabilities of an industrial robot for the price of a laptop. That said, the real magic is in the software, because right now you might spend $20,000, $40,000 for a robotic arm. It costs three times that to program it, to actually get it running. So a lot of what we're doing now is, you know, not in the hardware of the arm, we were able to get the price of the arm down to $3,000, $5,000. That's an enormous breakthrough that robot roboticists have been trying to do for about a decade now. But all of our work today is largely around the software and how we make this incredibly easy to set up. So we are here in our San Francisco office where we are building low-cost robotic arms. They have the capabilities of an industrial robot, but they're 10 times cheaper. They're about the price of the laptop. Crazy, because like last year, we were, you know, the industry experts were saying that we could not do what we were doing, that it's absolutely impossible. And this year, they gave us an award for it. And this one of the top of the robotics companies in the world. You know, Alphabet, Boeing, Carbon Robotics. Especially here in San Francisco, San Francisco hosts some of our most popular events. Hi, I'm Rosanna Myers. I am the co-founder and CEO of Carbon Robotics. We were recently named one of the top 50 robotics companies in the world. We've created Cassia, our kick-ass, trainable, intelligent arm. Solves all great problems. Carmen, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Stay open to whatever possibilities could, could come about from it. Even if you're not necessarily thinking that going into founding a company, no matter what, you're going to learn skills that will help you be essentially entrepreneurial in whatever it is that you do. More than anything else, in your free time, just be making things, be building things. This is, like, there's not a good time to start a company, ever, ever. And having a great idea means nothing unless you're, you're executing on it. When we're hiring, when we're looking for partners, when we're looking for people to work with us, we never look at their CVs or you know, their top achievements. We look at you know, what have you been doing in your spare time? You know, did, did you have that itch? You can't be doing it for money. You can't be doing it you know, just because like, you know, entrepreneurship is in vogue now. It has to be something you believe in. And the way that you get that is by building all the time. It's build with friends and make friends with other people, other people who are building. When you leave Duke, when you go out into the real world, the people that you are going to partner with you know, are probably the people you meet at Duke. A lot of co-founders meet in university. It is a unique networking opportunity in your life. It's a unique time to find other people who are willing to take a risk, who are willing to go on the same kind of journey together. And you know, it's something that I'm so thankful for.